Mathematics 2, Sample Exam 2018. Question 1. The vector goes from point P1 to P2. Calculate its length. To find the length of the vector, we subtract point P1 from point P2. So we're going to have 3 minus 2, 1 minus minus 5, and minus 2 minus 4. And that gives us 1, 6, minus 6. Now to calculate the length, we want 1 squared plus 6 squared plus minus 6 squared. 1 squared is 1, 6 squared is 36, 6 minus 6 squared is also 36, 36 plus 36 is 72, plus 1 is 73. So the length of A is the square root of 73. Part B. Find the direction cosines for A. The direction cosines are the I value over the length, the J value over the length, and the K value over the length. So we're going to get L is equal to 1 over 73, M is equal to 6 over 73, and N is equal to minus 6 over 73. Or if you prefer, point, point 0.117, point 0.702, and minus point 0.702. Part C. Given the vector B is equal to I minus 3J plus 2K, evaluate A dot B. The dot product is the scalar product, so we're going to have 1 times 1 plus 6 times minus 3 minus 6 times 2 which gives us 1 minus 18 minus 12 so that's going to give us minus 29. Part C2 calculate A cross B. A cross B is the vector product of two vectors and one way to do this is to use a determinant so we set up the determinant like this, where we've got i, j, k, and then we've got vector a and vector b. Remember the, the rule for determinants. We have a plus and a minus and a plus, which means we change the sign of the, the j column. So to expand this determinant, we take out the row containing the i and the column containing the i, and we have 6 times 2 minus minus 6 times minus 3. Then we take out the row containing the j and the column containing the j, and remember the minus sign, and now we're going to have 1 times 2 minus minus 6 times 1. And then we take out the row containing the k and the column containing the k, and we're going to get 1 times minus 3 minus 6 times 1. And that evaluates to minus 6i minus 8j minus 9k. Part D. Given vector C equals 6i plus 2j plus 3k, prove the vectors are perpendicular. To do this, we're going to take the vector dot product of A and C. So we're going to get 1 times 6 plus 6 times 2 minus 6 times 3. And that evaluates to 0. Now, another way of writing the dot product is a dot c is equal to mod a times mod c times the cosine of the angle between them. We know that the dot product is zero because that's what we've just shown here. We know that the length of a is not zero and we know that the length of c is not zero. So in this expression cos theta must equal zero. If cos theta equals zero then theta equals pi over 2 or 90 degrees which means that A and C must be perpendicular. And that's the end of question one.